<laughs> now, a vessel can't sail directly into the wind. Well, there are some that can, but it goes very complicated. But this vessel can't sail directly into the wind. So as we're going across here, we're sailing as close to the wind as we can. The wind is in this direction. If I go like this, there's no force on either side of the sail, and they love it. And the reason a sail works is because it's shaped just like a bird's wing. So there's a dynamic pressure and a static pressure. And so the wind goes faster on the outside, the leeward side of the sail than it does on the windward side. It has to go so you get lift. So you get lifted along instead of pushed along. And you really want to feel that step from here, sometimes set on the leeward side and feel how much windy it is there than here. It's an easy way to show you. So I'm going to come over sailing right along here doing a spanking four and a half knots and all of a sudden I've got Nashon Island here and I've got to move. One of two things we can do. We can bring the stern through the wind and turn it like this, right? Or you can bring the bow into the wind and turn it like that. And so when you bring the bow into the wind, it's called tacking because you bring the tack of the sail which is pulled right through the eye of the wind. If we wear, then uh, we put the stern through the wind. The problem with coming up here and wearing is it takes up a tremendous amount of space to do it. Where I tack, I can come up, and then I'm on the other tack, and I'm doing like this. So I'm trying to get up over there, and so I can go closer to the wind. If I wear, and I lose all that weather ground, and now I'm way back here. So it's preferable to tack. There are times when you can't. And there are maneuvers that you can do in a, in a river called box hauling and stuff, and I'm going to go through that. But, so what we're going to do, what I just did, the mate's going to do here in a second, is we're going to attack the vessel again. Well, that means we need to bring the bow of the vessel into the wind and through the eye of the wind onto the other side. Well, the wind is working equally on bow and stern. If I had no sails up here and just on the stern, it would look like a weather vane point directly into the wind. I wouldn't be able to control it. This sail back here, that spanker, works more steering the vessel than the rudder. A lot more area to it. And so, what do I want to do? I want to bring the bow through the wind. So I have to take the pressure off the forward end and put it on the stern end. Two ways to do that. When he says, stand by to come about. What he will do is turn the rudder hard over to the left. That'll start to force the stern. We'll bring the spanker and sheet it right in the midship. Now, there's more force on the stern. We will, you'll hear, slack your head some sheets, which means we take the slack off of there. So no matter what I do,